How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. This week is USC week. I don't really need to say anymore. We know how big this game is. Big time rival. Um, regardless of records, it's still going to be a tough game. And as far as I'm concerned, records get thrown out the door here. This is going to be a slugfest. And, and that's, how, that's how rivalries usually are. Each team gives it their best. And you usually see the best out of each team. Um, now, USC, they have not exactly been the best in recent years, but that really doesn't mean a thing to me. I told you guys last year when I previewed and recapped this game, actually I said it in both the post-game and the pre-game, um, this is a USC team that's on the rise. The talent is there. Um, now, I could go on forever about how their starter, JT Daniel, has been lost for the year uh, and that they've had to play both their second and third string quarterbacks. Uh, it looks like they're going to go with the second stringer, uh, Caden Slovic, I believe is his name. I don't know too much about him. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, the it um, uh, doesn't matter who the quarterback is because the key for USC is their receiving core. Michael Pittman, uh, I... Amonra St. Brown, uh, Equan's little brother, um, and then Tyler Vaughns. I mean, they were a big-time three-headed monster against us last year. And it's pretty ironic. Um, Michael Pittman, the standout from that, that trio, I just saw that he uh, has been shooting his mouth off a little bit, saying, uh, saying, oh, embrace the cold weather, embrace the suck. It'll be fun when we're running up the score. Well, and... Trash talk is a part of a rivalry, so you can't blame him. But uh, as we all know, talk is cheap. The talking is done on the field, not on Twitter. But um, Or in this case, an interview, whatever the hell it was. But uh, there's no doubt, Michael Pittman, he's a very talented receiver. Um, little mouthy, but talented. Doesn't really matter. Um, but that's going to be the key matchup, I think, is uh, the USC receiving core against our defensive backfield. Because... Um, you know we have some we have some injuries back there. Well, we're, we're without Sean Crawford uh, due to a shoulder a shoulder injury, um, and we're uh, we're playing some young guys back there. So in this one, it's going to be very important that Aloy Gilman, Jalen Elliott, Tariq Bracy, uh, Kyle Hamilton, all those guys step up and make some big plays for us because we're going to need every big play that we can in this one. But in addition to that. USC's defense has got a hell of a lot better, especially their front seven. Uh, from what I've been reading, because I haven't really had a chance to watch much of the Trojans, they've really started bringing it with the pass rush. Um, so our offensive line is going to need to step up and uh, give give Ian Book a lot of protection and a lot of time to throw that ball. But, um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to have our hands full this week, no question. Now, USC, they may not, not exactly be in the running for uh, the playoffs or anything like that, um, but they're going to be hungry. They're going to be looking to make a statement show like, hey, we may not have the best record, but we're still here and we're still relevant and we're still capable of kicking some butt and making making some things happen. Um, so we're going to need to really step up our game to make sure that that does not happen. Okay? So we got to be playing our, our best football play our best game of the season because hands down to this point this is going to be one of the best offenses we see we've seen all year in particular receiving core and no disrespect to any of the other uh, teams that we played so far but USC from what it looks like they hands down have the best uh, receiving core that our defense is going to be going up against so we can't we can't lack on the coverage got to step it up got to make some plays so with that said um I don't see a blowout in this one. I see something very similar to what happened out in the Coliseum last year. Um, some points are, are to be expected. Uh, I know that we're all still happy after the 52 to nothing uh, shutout of uh, Bowling Green, but that was Bowling Green. This is USC. I mean, that's a silly, uh, a silly comparison, but I'm just saying, don't be surprised if we give up 20-plus points in this game. Uh, which I think uh, is likely to happen. I, I'm not trying to knock our defense or anything, but USC's receiving core and their offense is pretty good. So, um, I do expect the, the USC receivers, Pittman, St. Brown, and Vaughns to make some nice catches. 
Um, they're going to be a handful, but at the same time, our de our defense, despite all the injuries that we have, they've done a great job putting the pressure on the quarterback. They've improved greatly on their tackling. Um, so I think we're going to be able to put some uh, some pressure on on Slovic and make him make him feel uncomfortable. Um, our running game, it looks like uh, we will have Jafar Armstrong back. Um, how much and, and in what kind of compa capacity, I'm not exactly sure. I don't exactly expect him to see a, a heavy load. I would definitely expect uh, Tony Jones to continue to be the the number one back and get you know the, the bulk of the carries just because of Jafar's injury. Uh, so, so with that said, if our off, if our offensive line is able to uh, to pick up a uh, pick up that USC pressure uh, pressure from the front seven, and Ian Book doesn't get flustered uh, and just has a, a comfortable performance like he did against Bowling Green last week, then I can see us win. I can see us winning this game by at least two scores. So my pr uh, final score projection for this one, guys: the Irish thirty-five, USC twenty-four. Um, USC is going to put up some points. Uh, that has to be expected. But, of course, is our de defense capable of stepping up and limiting them? Absolutely. But at this point in time, I'm not counting on it because you have to respect the talent that USC does have. So, 35-24 Irish. That's how I see this game going down. And on that note, everyone, this is Zendy Sean 45. Uh, God bless. And go Irish! Beat Trojans!